<clears throat> Say good morning, Mom. Hey, guys. Um, it is 8.12 in the morning. And we are up. Yes. Say good morning. Say good morning. So Mrs. Crunchy here will be two months on the 12th, guys. Like, oh my god. Time ran so fast. Oh, bless you. You're so cute and you sneeze, mama. Oh my goodness. Bless you. Bless your little heart, baby girl. Okay, so... Yeah, 8 in the morning, and we're just hanging out. You have the TV on, but we're not even watching it. Yes, we're just chilling. She had a lot of boob right now, so she's happy. Come on. Yeah. She had breakfast already. She had like four ounces, fat girl. No, she had three ounces. Three ounces of breast milk, and then she still was like kind of whining, so I just put her on my boob, and she and now she's fine. Yeah. So yeah. So she's so cute. Okay. Um. So yeah, guys. Oh my god, and I had some breakfast. Ooh, I had some breakfast. I had some cereal. So, with that special K okay, for that special. No, I ate it, so it wouldn't make, wouldn't make sense. But, anyways, guys, so she'll be 12, 12 months. She'll be two months on the 12th. So, that'll be awesome. Huh, mama? And I think it's funny because I can't remember her. I can remember bringing her home, and the first night was, oh my god, did I tell you guys that my first night when I brought her here? Story time! Sit down, grab some popcorn, okay. So, one second, I don't know my hands, just doing my hand. Okay, this is horrible. Hold on, guys. So, when I brought her home from the hospital, it was October the 13th, which that was the Friday, and, well, okay, so, anyways, I'm just, I get side check on one second. Okay, sorry, I guys, have to do some minor adjustments. Um, so, I literally, so we came home, yeah, I came home, we came home, and she was sleepy, and that was fine, whatever, at night, that's when she started, I was trying to put her on my breast, and I was just like, this is my first time breastfeeding. Um, I didn't breastfeed my son. So, I mean, breastfeeding was new for me, obviously. Hello. I didn't know really how to position her. Um, you know, I was new at it. New mom at breastfeeding. So, I'm like, literally, I was clueless. I, you know, just hopeless me. Anyways. She was crying and crying because she was hungry and I couldn't feed her. And it was just really annoying I was like really impatient and I was like sad because I couldn't do it and whatever anyways so it was like five or four in the morning where she had fallen asleep and I just put her to sleep without her eating and I would put her on the boob and she'd get off of it and put her on and get off of it and I don't think I was latching her on right so she ended up falling asleep, and she was sleeping with my husband. So when I told him, I said, hey, I said, at the, well, before that, I started Googling stores so I can go buy her some formula, you know, that were open. And I Googled it, and CVS was still open. It was open 24 hours. Thank God. Thank you, CVS, because 
I don't even know what I would do with Dayu. So, I googled it and they said CVS was open. So, it was the only one that was open. So, I literally... I told my husband and said, hey, look. He was already kind of like annoyed. And so, I got up. I said, hey, I need your card. I'm going to go get some formula because I feel bad, you know? That she's hungry and she's sleeping. She wasn't crying. But I still wanted to go and get some. So, I went to CVS and I got her the liquid formula. The blue one, the infamil, the blue one with the little owl. And when I was there, so I got to CVS. I walked in, and as I walked in, I seen a guy in the aisle, right? He looked really suspicious, like he was going to steal something or whatever. He looked just suspicious. So I kind of gave him eye contact, and I kind of smiled, and he had his hoodie on and everything. And when I... I just sensed something was wrong, so I just ended up walking, and the only people that were on the floor was me, that guy, and the pharmacist, but she was on the other side. So, I literally walk around towards the pharmacist, just like if something did go down. I'm going to use her as a shield, you know? Just kidding. Maybe not. Okay, I will, maybe, okay, never mind. Um... So I go around, and then we hear the beep, 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 beep. This guy stole something, a big old box or something, and he ran out. And then you have the two CVS workers chase after him out the door, and they couldn't catch him. So, yeah, guys, that's my life. I'm tripping, right? Because when I'm paying, so I got the formula, I started paying. And, I mean, I was, like, tripping and walking to my car because I had parked, I don't even park far. But it was just, like, weird. And not weird, more like I was, like, scared, nervous. So then, I jumped to my car and I came home and I fed baby girl. And she crashed out. And then my son came at 6 in the morning, right? So that she... I had barely got back. It was like five. It was gonna be five thirty or something. And she, had, I had crashed out. And then I hear somebody knocking on my window. I hear my son's voice so loud. Come in here. And then his grandma makes all kinds. Tells my husband, "Can you fix my phone?" Right. And we're like dead tired. We just want to go to sleep. And I'm like, "Oh my god." So anyways, so guys, that's the story of the other day. Serving it up Julie's way. That's my baby. That's my baby bear. Mom, say bye.